It's your boy, Daddy D24. Already back again with another review slash reaction video. Man, this time it's to the weakest home domestic violence. Muslim spoken words, man. It was requested by a few of my subscribers from the Islamic Nation. So this is my uh third video for them, you know, my Islamic Nation. I promise my guys I'll be back. So what I told you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I was going off the scene for a minute because I had some copyright issues, you know. So here it is. So like I said to all my subscribers, I love you. And to my future subscribers, I love you too. And welcome to the family. And to my subscribers that's still sticking in there, I love you and keep watching, baby. There's more to come, more to come, more to come. Because guess what? With, with reaction videos with Daddy D24, the fun's never going to end. Just keep the comments and, and keep coming in the description below. And believe me, your video is going to show. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and hit that like button, baby, because this video is going to be another one. You know? And uh, go ahead and hit your bell down and below and go ahead and uh, so you know when your next video coming up. Like I said... Daddy D twenty fours got you. I got you. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, let me get into. Let's get into this video, man. Here it is. The weakest of homes is the home of the spider, if only they knew. And it's not just because of the web, but also for what happens inside it too. The most fragile of homes, home to the most ferocious of family feuds, a husband and wife relationship that is solely based on being used for consummation. See, as soon as they finish mating, the wife would then consume. The body of her own husband is disgusting and so can the children be too. See, as soon as they mature, they would chew upon their own mother as a source of food. It's sinister, it's crude. I don't want to imagine it, but it's true. And such the examples that are used, not because God can be cruel, but for God to prove that the weakest of homes are those in which the inhabitants are abused. See, marriages are meant to bring happiness, and a home is a refuge of tranquility and comfort to all those who walk through. And if you ever do happen to fall into disputes, you must learn to understand that the marriage isn't always about you. Rather, it's learning to live together as one, although we are still living together as two. In a home where everybody knows that they belong, with love, kindness, and mercy, so we could all just get along, and there's no need for fighting every time something small goes wrong. Because you can't build a home upon violence and then expect it to stand strong. I mean, what kind of man would harm his wife in the darkness of the night? Leaving her to bleed as he scars her for life. Having to cover up her bruises as she tries to hide them from sight. She is so focused on her responsibilities, but fails to realize that he also owes her rights. She has a husband you're meant to provide, protect, respect, guide, and guard her. You are her garment, her lifelong partner, her prince charming who should charm her, her knight in shining armor. But a knight has turned into a nightmare as he spends his nights trying to harm her. As she begs him on her knees, please, I need you to be calmer. I urge you, see, patience is a virtue. I never even heard you. I promise I didn't mean to hurt you. Please don't be mad. And please don't let the kids see, because it's not right for a dad. It's sickening and it's sad that such scenes are happening in reality. We've been the homes of so many broken families. It's a calamity that we forgot what the meaning of marriage is. Did you forget that the best of you in character is? He who is best to his wife. The best of advice from the one who never harmed a servant, child, or wife in his whole entire life. Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was the best of examples in how to treat a woman right. See, if his wife had cooked something he had liked, he would eat it. And if he didn't, he would leave it without expressing an ounce of dislike. 
He would even refuse an invitation to food until his wife had also received an invite. And he would help around the house too, just to make her workload light. He was the pinnacle of being polite. And he taught us that the strongest of men is not he who knows how to fight, but rather he who restrains his anger right at the moment of strife. So have patience, brother. I mean, you wouldn't allow it for your own mother daughter or sister you wouldn't bear to watch another man punch and kick her so the next time you True. think to cause True. her trauma and hit her you need to understand that she too is another man's mother daughter or sister yeah so dear sister yeah no human being deserves to live a life of violence alone so if he doesn't treat you with kindness don't live in silence trying to fight this on your own rather seek help from god first and don't be afraid to then pick up the phone and let your people know that you are no longer willing to live in the weakest of homes. Violence against women? Islam says no. Yeah, you saw me, you saw me, you saw me. Yeah, I was relating to that video. You saw me. Yeah. Do some good metaphors you can use. Like, tell some guys that you, everybody knows somebody that's in an abusive relationship right now that's married. So, take that with you because I know a few outfits that wanted to, but I know a few people that, you know, before you put your hand on a woman, think about it. You got a mother, a sister, niece, auntie. You got all of those people that you can think about. You wouldn't want no man putting your their hands on nobody. Cause right now I know you. You put your hand on my. You hey, you put your hand on my what? Oh, bro, you gonna have to answer. You he did what? He did what? Okay, I'm on my way. He did. What do you? I'm on my way. You know, that's how it is. So, you know, you don't want nobody to do that to your sister, auntie, or nothing. So, pay attention, man. And like he said, man, if you can restrain at the time that you feel it's the most anger coming out of you, man, you're blessed. And pray to God first. That always comes everywhere. God first. Wake up in the morning. God first. We go to sleep at night. God first. Huh? Before you go and try for a job. God first. Everything is God first. Before you make a decision. God first. Hmm? Huh? God before anything. You know what I'm saying? Put God before anything. Nothing before him. God first. Don't go marry her and then God. No, God first. Remember that. And say no to domestic violence. And then if you're in uh abusive relationship or anything seek help seek help please don't stick around and try to fight it out man that could lead to death or anything so please seek help but once again go ahead like this video and um <laughs> subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching it's your boy daddy d24 already signing off there it is.